Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we got a new Michigan football video. Going to be talking about the Josh Gaddis departure for the offensive coordinator job at Miami. If you guys did not know, uh, Michigan's offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis actually just took the Miami's uh, Miami's offensive coordinator job uh, literally just today this morning you're gonna be getting into everything and what this means for Michigan and for next season without an offensive coordinator right now in Harbaugh will have to hire an offensive coordinator and a defense coordinator gonna be getting into everything though in this video make sure you guys if you guys are new around here greatly appreciate it. if you could go ahead hit that subscribe button and other than that let's get right into today's video All right, so Michigan's offensive coordinator, Josh Gaddis, the Broyles Award winner for the nation's top assistant coach, is now leaving Michigan to become a Miami uh, Hurricanes new offensive coordinator. Now, this was definitely a surprise to a lot of people. Um, really, nobody was expecting this, but I mean, uh, he did feel, uh, I guess, a little unappreciated here from the school. Uh, apparently, he actually texted some of the Michigan players and actually said, Unfortunately, the past few weeks has told a different story to me about the very little appreciation I have here from administration. And he, and he also said, In life, I would never advise anyone to be, to be where they are not wanted and pretty much giving reason why he uh, was leaving Michigan to go to Miami. Um, so... Obviously, it might seem like a huge loss for Michigan, but honestly, uh, you know, with all the new assistant coaches and new staff changes that we made last year, uh, Matt Weiss, Mike Hart, Sharon Moore, I mean, a lot of those really helped this offense this year. So, um, and also a lot of people are coming out here and saying, you know, that really this isn't that big of a loss. Uh, pretty much saying that Gaddis was a little bit overrated. I don't really know how true that is. Um, he actually got hired in 2019, if you guys didn't know, to the offensive coordinator position. Obviously, uh, the play calling was a bit, uh, you know, a little bit different. Uh, really, the offense did not do that well. I mean, it wasn't like a huge change where it was really good. Um, and they actually kind of went back to a little bit of uh, Harbaugh's philosophy on offense this year with you know running the ball and everything so I mean his offense really did not work that great here at Michigan uh, we did revert a little bit to uh, Jim Harbaugh's philosophy on offense this year uh, which is why we did a, a really good and also we could run the ball so that was obviously really really uh, fortunate for us and you know we succeeded uh, running the ball on the ground um, now I don't really know Gaddis personally and you know I don't know uh, around the program how he was like there or anything so I can't really say anything bad about him uh, he was the Brewers award winning best uh, assistant coach in the nation this off season uh, or this season excuse me not off season and uh, he led Michigan in this offense to a Big Ten championship beat Ohio State and went to the college football playoffs uh, now I think he did kind of ruin his career a little bit I don't really know why he left his contract actually expired in 2022 uh, so with him going to Miami he actually had to pay a $500,000 payout or buyout now I'm sure uh, Miami would probably take care of that but um, you know a couple of reasons I think why he left maybe you know he was pissed at Harbaugh for exploring NFL options or just coming back um, one of the reasons I think it was it could have been was because Harbaugh obviously came back here and now he is here for good to stay as head coach for a long time um, and I think Josh Gaddis he was obviously going to leave soon anyways uh, you know just being a head coach somewhere or just an offensive coordinator somewhere else um, and I think that he might want to go somewhere where he might eventually get the head coaching job obviously Miami has just hired uh, Crystal Ball uh, Meyer, or Mario Crystal Ball but, I mean, maybe he thinks one day that he could become the head coach there in Miami. I don't know. That's just, uh, you know, one of the reasons or opinions that I have for him leaving. Another reason is maybe because of his pay. He was getting paid $1 million per year. 
uh, here at Michigan. Well, he was put to a one-year extension last January, a uh, new contract that was set to pay him a million dollars in salary in 2022, plus performance incentives. Um, and like I said, he will now owe a $500,000 buyout. Um, so yeah, now this might affect the re recruiting a lot, a little bit, um, but we will see. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, uh, you know, what happened in this situation, why he left Michigan. Uh, that's just a couple of reasons why I think he might have left. Um, and like I, like I said, uh, obviously, you know, he felt disrespected here. Uh, you know, very little appreciation for him, I guess. So that's why he uh, left and now is Miami's offensive coordinator. That's okay, though. You know, we got other... Uh, you know options out there for us a couple of them is Sharon Moore offensive line coach he was actually the co-offensive coordinator uh, so he's an option also quarterbacks coach Matt Weiss both of those are candidates and also Mike Hart the running backs coach um, now a lot of people think that Michigan's offensive identity should remain mostly intact uh, with Matt Weiss, Mike Hart, and Sharon Moore all still around on the staff and uh, many people think that Matt Weiss and Sharon Moore are the two uh, candidates for the job. Uh, another thing that I thought was interesting, Andrew Anthony, obviously the wide receiver for Michigan, actually on Twitter, about four hours ago this was, um, but about when, about like an hour after I feel like, or uh, two hours after, something like that, after Josh Gaddis left to go to Miami, he actually tweeted saying, oh my god, our next move is crazy. Uh, and then he put stay tuned so uh, I don't know really you know what that really means uh, but hopefully it's you know obviously something good uh, we'll see what happens though uh, we'll keep you guys up to date obviously on this channel so if you guys are new around here really appreciate it could go ahead hit that subscribe button we are so close to a thousand subscribers if we could get there it'd mean the world to me man it would be so awesome um, and uh, but yeah so now Harbaugh, he obviously has to replace the offensive coordinator and the defensive coordinator. So he's got his work out cut up for him. Um, we'll see what happens uh, later in this week. You know, we'll, uh, we're six weeks away from spring training, I'm pretty sure, for spring ball. So, um, you know, definitely got to get a defense coordinator and an offensive coordinator before then. So yeah, I mean, Gaddis leaving Michigan, um, I still, I do think losing Mike McDonald is obviously way, way bigger than losing Josh Gaddis, so we definitely, definitely got to get a defensive coordinator. Um, I still think our offense will be stellar good next season. You have so much talent, so many returning pieces, uh, literally losing only Hassan Haskins and two offensive linemen, and you already replaced uh, the center, so... You know, our offense is going to be insane, you know, either with or without Gaddis. Um, obviously, it's going to be without him. So, yeah, Harbaugh just got to find an offensive coordinator now. And, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys up to date. And, you know, whenever we hire somebody, I will definitely make a video and update you guys on all of it. Uh, I did want to make a video on the Michigan commit Cole Cabana. Uh, he's a three-star running back, speedy, fast uh, running back. I wanted to make a video on him and how huge his commitment was. Going to have to do it probably, hopefully, tomorrow as long as other, uh, you know, news doesn't come out. But we'll see. Uh, it's obviously a day-to-day -day thing with all the, the this drama going on with Michigan football. Um, but, yeah, look out for that video tomorrow if, you know, no other important news comes out on Michigan football. And, uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much everything I could find on this situation. Not a whole lot going on around it because it literally just happened this morning. Um, but that's pretty much the basics for it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.